Hello, Internet to Boy. We're at 785 here for some more fun and games, and today we have Dino Run DX. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've played Dino Run, and recently I thought of it, and I was wondering if there was any way I could play it. And lo and behold, I found that there were some sites that support the Dino Run still. I think. Uh, God, I can't even remember the name of the site. But there was a site that you could play it on. It ran extremely slowly. It was basically unplayable to me. But then I found out. Wait a second. Pixel Jam made a redux of the first game, Dino Run DX. And it's on Steam. <laughs> so I had to go buy it. <laughs> and then I found out. Pixel Jam has Dino Run 2 in the woods, and it's very much real. Oh my goodness, for people who don't know this game, this game is very simple. You see, this is our dinosaur. This is his look right now. We can change our name whenever, we can change our look whenever. We have 5 stats, or well, 4 stats, with 5 levels. Speed, the top speed. Acceleration, how long it takes you to get to top speed. Jump high, you can jump and strength. How strong you are, which helps you knock things out of your way and basically destroy things in your path. <laughs> Player score is basically like a lifetime score. It tracks your entire profile. Best game score, best game, best run score, basically. Dino saved, best runs made to the end, because there's an end to the game. It's not like an infinite run of like Subway Super. Eggs saved, eggs are one of the currencies, bones are also a currency. Well, I say eggs are a currency. Eggs are very important, but they're not quite a currency. They're just very, very useful. Uh, runners, lizards, birds, worms, and fish are all um, things you can eat and find around the map. I'll show you them when we see them. Long spoiler, longest data, long zoom, so I'll explain that when we get into the game. There's a bunch of milestones with varying degrees of colors. I believe it goes bronze, silver, gold. Except for some of them. Some of them only have cool variations, but the rest all have variations. And then there are super eggs. Super eggs aren't like regular eggs. They are extremely good. Because I believe they give you a DNA boot bonus for finding them, as well as a score bonus. I play a score bonus, which is a lifetime score. Remember that. Also, DNA is what you need to upgrade all your stats. So, with all that explaining, um, yeah, you're probably fed up by now. Let's just dive into this game. Press up to jump, or press down to dive. Well, not dive, but round your head down. And also to control your jump a bit. Eggs in trees, eggs on the ground, everywhere you go. Uh, there's also one other thing. Ah, that's another reason. Ah, Jesus Christ. There's so many things to explain. I don't know if I'll be able to in one run. Basically, eggs are exactly what you think they are. Dinosaur eggs. They are usually white with colored spots on them. And they are decently varying sizes, although they tend to be on the small size unless they're talking about a super egg, which you recognize at some point. Um, these grayish things here on the ground that are basically running around, those are called runners. Wow, that was quick. 15 eggs saved? Oh yeah, that's a milestone already. Got DNA for that. I'm gonna be saving up for a while. Most likely. Because I want speed above all else. Yeah, no super eggs in this level. Um, You'll see Wolves poke the hair out of the ground. I used one in the first level. I'm sure we'll find one eventually again. They just poke out of the ground every now and then, and that's why they're so rare. But they're also really good. Runners are everywhere, basically. Uh, eventually, we're gonna find lizards, which are, you'll know when you see them. They're quite obvious in their design. Those shining things you see me eating, uh, I have to crunch down, crouch down to eat them. They're basically item SP boosts. Ah, oh, look, lizards. Uh, there are three types of like berries, I want to say. 
One is the orange yellow ones that you see on the ground a lot. Those are for speed. They're gonna be purplish ones. Oh, that's a bird. Nice. They're gonna be purplish ones or violetish. They are gonna be for jumping, and then there are white ones that will be useful for strength. I think they actually gave you a boost to all, but I'm not quite sure on that, so don't quote me. But they are extremely useful, so if you have the chance, go for them. Speed, thank you. This game is hectic, to say the least. Those white birds that you see me run by and they start flying away, those are actual birds. Like, bird birds. We're doing great right now, cause, mostly because I've had practice. I practiced like a few hours last night on a different file. Which is another great thing about this game, you can have different files and all your achievements separately. So I can play this game a lot in my free time. And you will have no idea of anything about it. But I doubt that's going to be interesting for all. Ooh, one important thing. Every 20 seconds or so, we have a, an innate speed boost we can just use. You can do that by pressing shift. Either one works, which is why you saw it activate just now. Hey, look at Willem. Thank you. Jumping three. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ooh, the strength one too. Damn, they're giving us all the boosts. All these skeletons on the ground give us bones. Bones are a currency we need for other stuff. One. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, this wonderful thing behind us is the Doom Wheel. The Doom Wall. Oh boy. That is literally. Think uh, any movie you've seen with um, a nuclear explosion and you see the mushroom cloud expand and this uh, sonic boom outwards. Yeah, that is the sonic boom outwards that will kill us if we touch it. Oh boy, but Doom Surfing is the fun name for being right on the edge where your um where your character is fucking panicked as all hell and stressed out about going to die, but you're not quite dead yet. Which is denoted by an exclamation mark above said. You know, the you're going to die but you're not dead yet. Oh god. I turned back. I was a fool. Ooh. Three Wolves is a master, that's amazing. We talked about Wolves, we talked about Birds, we talked about Runners, we talked about Lizards. I think you saw one fish, maybe? 40 DNA, that's not quite enough. We were barely in front of that Doom. Uh, fish are usually, well, generally found in water, aren't they? look like little goldfish. They're not big by any standards, but they're cute. Oh jeez. As the levels <laughs> progress, the world gets more fucked up. Like, you think this is bad with asteroids falling? No. No, it can get way worse. Also, remember strength I was talking about? Strength would let us destroy small boulders like these. Oh, Dactyl. Great. Pterodactyls oh, that are in the air like that. Not red ones. But actual pterodactyls that look like it. Will. Grab you if you jump on them. Like, if you manage to be in range enough, they will grab you and they'll give you a slight carry. It's nothing crazy, but it's a nice bonus that I'm sure you'll appreciate. There's a nice hole in this waterfall to run through. See that big egg up there? Yeah, we're not gonna get that egg. We don't have anything <laughs> near enough. Uh, pay attention to these puddles. They yeah, have fish. And I believe we're gonna end up in a lead. At the end of this. Yeah, there's gonna be fish here. Look at them go. Fishies are cute. Oh, with that said- oh my god. <laughs> Why were you here? Eggs are important. Oh, I don't think I've mentioned time shifts yet. But then again, I haven't had a need for them. Time shifts are like retries. If basically, if you die trying to do something cool, or for any reason whatsoever, 
You can use a time shift and you can reach out of the level. 50 speed, 50 DNA, 51 DNA. Every E it's eggs, and I believe every E it worms, fish, um, runners, everything, every E it's of anything you collect should give you one egg DNA. If it's not every E it's of everything, and then it's every E it eggs. For sure, but I, I think there was more. Oh god. Oh, no, no, no. Run this way, please. Oh god, no. I missed it. Ah, this is bad. Ah, this is bad. This is so very bad. I don't like this. Also, I saw the boost. Ooh. Oh great, not this again. We're so low level that any and everything will interrupt us. And we can't destroy much of anything. Which is very bad and frustrating. Ooh. Fortunately, we're just at the strong enough. Well, not strong enough. Oh, jeez. We're just fast enough that we can jump off trees. I'm pretty sure anyone can do this, even if you're at base speed. But when you are not at base speed, you can jump off speed. Trees. Oh god, see that rock we're gonna steal? I wish I could do that, but I'm not strong enough yet. Well, not anymore. Yes. Thank you for the runner. <laughs> Parasaurolophus! Parasaurolophus are awesome. Oh god, no. Well, I got the, the boost. I got the immortal boost. Who oh, screwed? There goes a chance to be a Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus look fun in this game. They are basically a mount. And you can and you should hop on them if you can. Like if you see the opportunity, do not let it pass you by on the wayside. It's great. Boom please, thank you. I don't know why I've had an obsession with the rooms since I was a kid. Playing in this game, I mean, not like real rooms, rooms, but in this game, I love rooms. Like I will go after every room I see, and I don't know why, because they were always so easy to find. Thank you for the bird. No, I missed the bird. So, uh, I missed the berry too. That's impressive. I could wait for this, but I don't want to. And I definitely don't want to oh, do myself again. Super eggs. Ugh. I'll show you a super egg when I find a super egg. But you've seen them already on the screen. It's just been hard to get them. Because there's usually secret paths you have to take to get super eggs. That unless you're trial and error in the game like fall, you're not going to find them. Why am I climbing up a mountain? Oh no. We're in... Thank you. See, it's just, it's just awesome. Ooh, yes. Yes, give me the boost. The Omni boost, let's go. Ah, the speed boost for the Omni boost, yes. Boom. <laughs> oh, do I have my strength? I have my strength. Shrink can get you to do things like that. Utterly destroy a dinosaur by running into it. Every... I think every animal, or everything you kill, or every skeleton you find, has bones. Forget if it's just one for each. Doesn't blah. It's definitely just not not just one point for each. But I forget if it's just one bone for each or not. I didn't actually check when I was playing. <laughs> I was too busy having fun. But come on. Who, how could you not like this game? Oh no 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 no. Alright, this is kinda good. Okay, kinda good. Kinda good, kinda good. Here it is. This is the Magna Egg. Oh boy. See, this is a super egg. <laughs> the Magna Egg is a super egg. Oh. Lucky us, we got a Parasaurolophus. Riding like a cowboy. Unfortunately, you can't pick up eggs, but 
It's fun. <laughs> it's real fun. We can not be as- ow. I don't know what's the deal with those fiery pterodactyls. I'm fine. See that little thing over there? Oh god, no 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 no. No no, I fell. I fell into it. Yeah, okay. Every time you play the game, you have one time shift. Because I got titty eggs in my- oh, while I was playing. I got an extra one. I think the next bonus is at 75 specifically. And the trend continues where at specific intervals you will get more um, time shifts. But beyond 30 and 75, I doubt you're gonna find one. Like, it's hard. It's so hard to find them. I. Honestly, don't know. <gasps> Thank you for the dactyl. A dactyl chain is when a dactyl drops you and you end up in the arms of another one. It's incredibly rare in a way, but also incredibly amazing. And if you can, if it happens, then be happy. I forget how much exactly are required. As in how many dactyls need to grab you in a row are required for um, any of the milestones actually. Oh god, those poor birds. All oh, runners. I always thought they were just running birds. Uh, I don't know why. Probably because of the way they look. Speed boost? Why? 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 Why you gotta be like this? Ooh, jump. These small bullets are terrible. Thank you for the mind egg again. Okay, I'm learning my lesson. I'm not gonna go out for him. For it. What I was trying to show you before. Oh god, what the hell happened there? Is that there's a tiny, tiny creature in wherever the asteroid drops and opens the floor. Like, it's a... there. Right in there. Right on the left. So if you fall in, you head left for just a moment. You can find a very, very tiny, tiny thing. And he's a trophy. And I probably unlocked the trophy just by, you know, touching him once. Also, if we were running here, we'd be getting bones. I'm just not because it's faster to be on a perhaps or Alphas. Could you not please? Thank you. Get off my face. <laughs> I was going for that lizard. What? The How dare you? Freaking polar from the sky. Oh, pterodactyls drop eggs. You can run the collect an egg just by doing your thing. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, <sighs> yeah. So. We did get Magno Egg. We found him once, but I think that just finding him at all is supposed to not the trophy, but I don't know why it's not here. We can double check afterwards. 10 Worm Slips is a trophy. You can see it right here. It's cute. 109. More speed for me, please. Thank you. Did I get the 1 out of 1 Super Egg? I did. Apocalypse. So level 6, Apocalypse, is always going to be the end level. It is what it is. And it is a hell of a time. Like you are either having the time of your life with this level, or you're crying. Um, level, well, not level, but difficulty. If you're on playing... I'm so tongue-tied. If you're playing on easy difficulty, you aren't going to be here in level in the apocalypse level because the last level would have been your end level that's just the one difference between playing on easy and playing on uh, medium aside from obviously the doom wave being slow oh no 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 I don't like this I'm too close to the right, left side of the screen no stop it no stop it no stop it come on if you notice the video is having a lot of slowdown issues, 
yeah, that's just how my gameplay is because this is basically a speedrunner's game. And my laptop is not a speedrunner's laptop, I'm sorry. I would love to show actual speedrunners this game though and see how they deal with it. Shame we missed that. Speed run. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. <laughs> Just <laughs> bouncing up and down. 70 eggs. Not nearly 70. Well, not quite 75. Ooh, boy. What is this? What is this? What is this? 75. There's a the time shift. I didn't know about this and if I didn't know about this I forgot about this okay that's interesting I'm gonna have to explore that looking for um super eggs I'm sure there's at least one in there if not two because I've seen two super eggs hidden in the same hole just in different sections it's amazing how this game looks like that um super eggs you only need to collect once and consequently it shows they will no longer be in that spot as in, they will no longer be there at all. And you can play the game on easy mode for levels like 1 to 5 and get all the super eggs there. And that's fine. It's perfectly reasonable to want to do that. Especially because a lot of them are more puzzle and exploration based than actual just go fast or run the Doom Wave. Is this what I think it is? It is! Hey, I'm surprised. We actually smash this win. There. Eating Frenzy Timer is just... We have so much time to eat as much as we like. Ah. Uh, nice. Anything we eat past this point isn't really gonna count. Out of the eight supers we could have found, we found one. <laughs> As the one you probably would not know, forget. Like, if you know it's there, you're not gonna forget it's there. It's the easiest to grab. But I'm glad. So with this massive rock in, our, in the way, we are safe. With our other raptor burden, and eggs. Eggies, and birds, and runners, and lizards. And fish. Well, they were fish. And yeah. You can see there's a hole here, so it's not like we're just stuck in a cave. There's air coming in. We'll be fine. Medium challenge completed. Every mode you complete, you will get a reward. I believe there's one for easy too, but who cares? Uh, dino saved. Yeah, we can save our first dino, so that's a That's this trophy, actually. 100,000 plus player score. That's just, hey, you did a thing. Here's some cash to spend. Uh, 10 fresh gobbles, nice. 5 was the board, nice. Let me see our stats and awards. Hey, we can keep track of everything, it's great. Dino saved 1, egg saved 91. Not bad for our first run. Look at the Magno egg, it's so cool. Yep, 1 dino, 10 wolves, and we found him. I did get the drink for it. <laughs> what do you know? 86, 86, do I want 86? Uh, is there anything I want to increase more than speed right now? Not particularly. I think max speed or at least four speed is the best. And then you can deal with everything else. Oh yeah, I explained these right. Bowlerites are literally when you're on top of a bowler because you can Ride bowlers, not in the same way you ride Parasaurus. Parasaurus has a designated animation. Bowlers are just you are on a bowler, and you happen to be there for however long the bowler is rolling. It's kind of hard sometimes, but it can be easy as well. Uh, Doctor chains are crazy to have. I don't know. I think my longest was three, and that was when I was super lucky as a kid. And of course, Doom Surf is literally Doom Surfing is literally floating with that. Do so at your own volition. Uh one more thing. Options and game modes. Yeah. So 
what we doing what we are doing is challenge mode which is <laughs> what you expect it's the, like the main game it's you start off here or well, at uh, the beginning where the asteroid hits and you go all the way into the sanctuary apparently there's variations which there i've never seen before and i haven't tried yet but i'm interested in so i can't wait to start it and then there's speedruns and speedruns i have tried before speedruns are exactly what you think they are special levels that will do special things i forget if you actually gain the particular rewards for doing these levels but god i know some of them are nightmares and of course there's the difficulties which don't have a big thing the main reason i got this game actually was because there's a multiplayer mode and i'm curious to see if anyone's gonna be around at some point so if anyone else knows this game or wants to play with me let me know because i'll be interested cheats and mods yeah super speed mega jump super strength goodbye doom turns up to doom all low gravity which is just higher jumps bulls or balloons are all cheats you use them and you cannot get milestones can't add to stats you can't submit sports anything like that the ones you can use though constant nighttime it's out a meteor storm, more meteorites, and you can shake a bone out. These two will give you extra level bonuses. So whenever you hit the end of the level, it'll say, Light Sword, here's a multiplier or whatever. I don't know Light Sword if, it's, if that's actually useful. I think it's more of a flex. And for points, Meteor Storm, whatever. Meteor Storm is one of those things you're gonna wanna do if you want to get that boulder rolling thing. That bull of riding achievements. Oh, and of course, this is <laughs> these are the original things you would use your bones on. We back when in the age of flash games online, you would pay with bones and get downloads. <laughs> and if you clicked again, you'd be able to get them again. Personally, I have a good few of them downloaded already. Just to show off my main. Oh my goodness. I don't use this dino. This is what I made to show up today. This is my boy. This is what I played with last night. <sighs> my boy. My boy has done not much things, but a lot of things. <laughs> He's been having fun, and that's just one day of work. I got a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. I could play more with him, but nah. So with all that flexing, oh yeah. Also, I was going out to hard mode because I already beat easy and medium. <laughs> with all that flexing, I would like to end the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game, and I hope you're having a world of flashbacks and memories. <laughs> so until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!